Hello, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Pecora back to read to you from our novel in verse book by Kwame Alexander. So sit back, relax, and enjoy as we start reading page 276. Regular Communication. Hey, Mom, I'm good, though my toenails have grown so long that my hooves hurt bad. April says hi. At Miss Quattlebaum's. The girls line up ear to ear, so you and the other boys can greet them with a proper hand kiss. Gentlemen, backs are straight and stiff, Miss Fruit Tree says. She passes out gloves to the girls so they don't have to touch our clammy hands, you guess. You zoom down the line, and when you get to April, in her blue mini dress, you decide to finally wear cool. Uh, April, I was wondering if you uh, wanted to go to the eighth grade formal with me. Regular communication. Hey, Mom, I'm good, though I'm a little sick of Cheetos and grape soda. April says hi. After school, you stop in to see the Mac. Hey, Nick, did you know that outside of a dog, a book is a man's best friend, and inside of a dog, it's too dark to read, he says laughing. Come on, you know that was funny. It was corny, Mr. Mac. Before you leave, grab your flash drive out of the lost and found. Oh, snap, been looking for that. It's got my outline on it. You left it in the computer. Dang, I sure did. So, no soccer practice today? What's up? Yep, I'm on the way there now, but I wanted to give you this. What's this? A birthday gift. For me? How'd you know it was my birthday? Google. You stalking me, Nick Hall? You are a pretty good rapper, Mr. Mac. Pretty good? I was dope. You're a cool librarian. There's a surprise in the book. Aw, oh, snap. You did another blackout joint. Yeah, plus I read the whole freaking book. How was it? It was sad and crazy funny and really good, and I think you'll really like it. Kid, you're the real deal. This means a lot. How much? A whole lot. So much that you'll tell me what's inside your dragonfly box? You want to look inside freedom? Huh? My dragonfly box. I call it freedom. You name everything. Your car, your box. Want to know what I call my bowling ball? Uh, no thanks. Fine, go ahead. Open the box. Seriously? Go for it. Cool. Wait, it's locked. Where's the key, Mr. Mac? You gotta have the key, you gotta have the key, you gotta have the key if you wanna be free. The Mac repeats this a few times, then takes the box back. Real funny. Hey, Mr. Mac, why are you into dragonflies? Because they're all electric, Nick. Like bolts of lightning, they rocket into the day. That's how I want to live, you? Yeah, uh, I guess. Well then, carry on. I've got some work to finish. You've got a clerk to diminish? You know that jerk's a finish? You're officially the malaprobe king, Nick, he says. Thanks again for the gift. No problemo. Bowling against the Mac is serious bubba. He got game. Playoffs. April comes over to wish you luck before your first game back. Score one for me, she says. You don't. You score two. Text from mom. Nikki, didn't hear from you this weekend. How was the game? Your texts are funny. Miss ya. Regular communication. Hey mom, I'm good. Can't talk as I'm in school failing gravely. Who cares about grades? We won. Winifred may be a gadfly. Gadfly, noun, an annoying person. In the dictionary, there's a picture of Winifred next to this word. Winifred may be a gadfly, but her slideshow tribute to Ms. Hardwick is pretty swell, and it sends us all to Sobtown. Waiting at the bus stop when a police car pulls up. Hey, Nick, we could take you home. No, thanks. We're good, April. Get in here, fellas. Looks like it's about to rain. Uh, okay, Kobe says, climbing into the back seat. Dad, this is Nick, remember? Oh, yeah, I remember from the phone, right? He shoots you a look through the rearview mirror. And this is his best friend, Kobe. Cool ride, Mr. Farrow. Don't get used to it, son. No, sir. 
I understand you play soccer. Yes, sir, we do, you say. Who's better? I am, sir, Kobe says, all polite. Nicholas, how is school? It's fine, sir. Y'all stop calling me, sir. Officer is fine. Dad, stop. April tells me you're a wordsmith or something. You a wordsmith, Nicholas? Uh, I guess, officer. Are you or aren't you, son? Dad, why are you interrogating him? Leave him alone. I know a lot of words, if that's what you're asking. He sure does, April brags. Nick, tell him about that word limerence. Yeah, Nicholas, tell me about that word limerence, the one that my daughter has written on every notebook, plastered all over her door, which she now wants to tattoo on the back of her neck. Tell me about that word. Dad, stop it. This is so cool, officer, Kobe blurts out. Uh, why is the siren on? 30 minutes later. My dad's just trying to scare you. Well, it worked. You come in the Charlene's pool party? I don't know. Well, I think you should. Okay, maybe. Try again, Nikki. Yeah, I guess. Better, text me later. Okay, thanks for the ride. I can't kiss you on the cheek because my dad is the goodbye, Nicholas. Her dad screams from the car and turns on the siren again. Jeez, I gotta go, Nikki. Uh, uh, bye, thanks. I've been thinking. Maybe you should take a break from my dictionary, son. The irony of this is colossal. You laugh long and loud like a guinea baboon being tickled. And so does he when you said, well, that's just perfect, Dad, because I finished it last night. Really? Well, that's great. We should celebrate. You hungry? Very. I'll make dinner. Mm, how about no, Dad? Let's go out. Great. I got the perfect place. No white tablecloths, Dad. I was thinking a sports restaurant. Unlimited hot wings and soccer? Yeah. Conversation with Dad. Your dad is always full of world words to hurl at you. But tonight, for once, he's word bound. Word bound. Adjective. Unable to find expression in words. Kind of ironic, right? So are you. These wings are good. Yeah. Dad, can I ask you a question? Of course. Did you ever get into a fight at school? Fight? No. Not at school? There was this kid at church named Skinny who picked on me. Really? He sat behind me in Sunday school and would slap me on the neck. We'd be at the fountain and he'd spit water on me. One time when it was raining, he even tripped me and I busted my lip. It was Easter and I was wearing a brand new white snoot suit. Oh, snap, what'd you do? I ran to my mom, bleeding and crying. Oh, but my dad came over and dragged me to the bathroom. What'd he do, fuss at you? No, he cleaned me up and asked me a question. What? What would you do if you weren't afraid? That's what he asked you? Yep, and I told him, maybe fight him. What'd he say? Bullies don't like to fight, son. They like to win. Being afraid is normal. The only fight you really have to win is the one against the fear. What does that even mean? And then he said, you got this, and walked out. What'd you do? I cried some more, then went back outside, where all the kids were, and walked right up to Skinny and said, Hey, Skinny, I'm sick of your yobbery. Yobbery. Hooliganism. Now, he's still weird, but my dad's got a little swag. And then I put up my dukes. You uh, put up your dukes, Dad? Yeah, I was ready to fight Nick. I dodged and weaved like Muhammad Ali. He looked a little confused, maybe even a little afraid. I charged him like a bull, knocked him to the ground. That's so cool, Dad. What happened next? He got up and punched me in the eye. I had a black eye for two weeks. Dang, sorry, Dad. Don't be. Your granddad was right. Skinny stopped messing with me after that. I mean, he used to make jokes about me, but even that stopped after a while. That really happened, Dad? Sure did. Can we get some more wings, Dad? Should we knit some floor swings? It's got to make sense, Dad. Should we quit before spring? 
Well done, Dad. Good. Now, let's order more wings. Hey, Mom. Dad's at a conference. I'm home alone. It's a house party time. Yeah, holla, giddy up. Mom calls immediately. He's just gone for the day. I'm fine, you tell her. After she finishes worrying, you ask her how to make Dutch pancakes. But it sounds too complicated, so you stick to instant oatmeal. After breakfast and a quick game of FIFA online with Kobe, you shower, grab your gear, and head out for the match when you hear, Morning, Nick! Oh, boys and girls, we have to stop there for today. So we will come back and read the next installment of our novel. Have a great day.